Hello my friends and welcome to this channel, my channel, Purse Trippin. And my name is Kim. I am a full-time reseller, pretty much full-time. Kind of got another job too, but we'll consider it full-time. And I do all sorts of selling of handbags, designer brand names from very not so expensive to very expensive, just depending on the bag. I have all sorts of styles, names, colors, you name it, I probably have it. So if that's what you like, then go ahead and subscribe, click that uh, bell so you'll know when my videos are being loaded. All of my items that I'm showing you are pre-owned unless otherwise stated. They're listed below this video right now for sale. Um, so click the description box, it'll drop down, it'll show all the bags, how to pay. Please know all of my items are, uh, once you purchase, they're yours. There's no exchanges, no returns. I shipped only within the US and I accept PayPal only. So all questions must be asked before you purchase the bags because like I said, once you purchase them, they are yours. Uh, we are just gonna go ahead and get started, but let me tell you something. I think I'm gonna do a review on my new makeup and I just wanna Thank you guys for bearing with me because I've been switching makeups around and there's some days I look like a friggin' raccoon. There's some days I look like I've been in the sun for five hours, but with much research for aging skin, I'll be 52 next month and I have finally found my combination that works for me, that doesn't give me raccoon eyes, that doesn't set in the wrinkles. Um, I'm super, super excited. All of my stuff, almost all of it, except for one little thing, is by Charlotte Tilbury. On the pricier side, yes, but I found it. It gives me a glow. It matches my skin tone, and I'm so super excited. So I think I'm going to do a video on my makeup, my new makeup routine um, and skincare routine if you're interested because I'm really excited about it. So on that note, we're gonna go ahead, put the makeup aside, bring the handbags up, and show you guys what we have. So first bag today is my authentic Paloma Picasso that was thrifted, and this is a vintage piece. It's very pretty black, smooth, uh, smooth leather, like a glove leather. It's got the little Paloma Picasso X in a gold tone color, and the bottom is embossed. Is it the bottom or the back? Oh, it's the back. Is embossed Paloma Picasso. This is a nice medium size crossbody. It's got the little X um, zipper pull on it. And this one does fit quite a lot of items. It does have the Paloma Picasso sateen lining and a zipper pocket. So let's go ahead and try this on for you. So you guys can see sort of the size it would be crossbody. I'm really loving this bag a lot. Okay, so bag number one, Paloma Picasso. All right, bag number two, way excited to find this for you guys. Um, this bag is a, from what I found, it's, a, it's around $100, and I found it brand new with tags. It's very Chanel-esque, but it's by the brand Darcy Marks London. Now, you guys, I tore this bag apart inside and out. I cannot find a tag that shows if it's genuine leather or not. It totally, totally feels like soft lambskin. It's quilted, it has minimal hardware. Love the little knotting detail on the shoulder straps. It's got a zipper top, brand new with tags. And then, the zipper is a very sturdy zipper with nickel hardware. And then let's show you the inside here. So it's really cool because it has a center divider, which is a big zipper pocket. And then the main compartment, is that a tagged? Oh no, that's a silica packet. I was like, wait a minute. Those are silica packets. Um, so a nice zipper compartment, and then you've got the Darcy London tag over here with another pocket. So you have one, two pockets with a center divider zip, and I love the shape and design of this bag, and it's super, super lightweight, you guys. 
really, really lightweight. And here's what it looks like on. So much loving this purse. And I just, I can't tell you how soft the material is. I'm not gonna say leather because I'm not 100%, but this one has got me, got me stumped. Um, I'm usually really good at picking out leather right away. This one has definitely got me stumped, so. Darcy London, Darcy Marks London. <clears throat> All right, next I have the Michael Kors tote that I just hauled the other day. Excellent shape, size, condition is amazing. There's hardly anywhere anywhere on it. Um, so it's got the side pockets and this bag looks just like the Totally MM by LV with the side pockets, except it does have more compartments on the inside. It's the brown little guy here. Here's the interior. I'm pretty sure most of you have seen this bag before, right? So you have one, two, slip pockets and a zipper over here with the key lanyard. Large center zip. And then this side over here has two more open pockets. And there's your little key fob, key lanyard. And this is Safiana leather. Okay, and there's the bottom. All right, so that's my Michael Kors tote. Super excited to find another one because the last one I did on, what was it, two or three videos ago, two videos ago maybe, I found another vintage Tianello or Tianio all black leather backpack purse in excellent condition. This too is a vintage piece. It has your zipper pocket on the back. Goes about to right here. Then it has a pocket here on the front that zips. And then your main zipper compartment. And it's nice because it accordions out. It has a white contrast stitching. <clears throat> There's the emblem with the zipper. And then leather trimmed pockets on this side as well. Excellent condition. And I will try it on for you so you can see what it looks like. And as always, they're adjustable straps with nickel hardware. So wear it as a shoulder bag like so, or here it is on the longest, I believe it's the longest adjustment right now. So that's what it looks like on. It fits really nice and flush to your back. So, loving this. This is the Tia Neo. Beautiful leather backpack purse. Alrighty, let's do this little beauty. A little, summertime's here. Well, it's 85 degrees here today, so summertime's here at my house, at least for today. <laughs> it's cooling off this weekend. So this is a chocolate signature seed coach crossbody in jacquard and patent. There is your slip pocket, and the color inside here is that grayish purple that I'm in love with. And then the inside has your coach creed and could be wiped down. A little bit dirty in there, needs to be wiped down, but the bag itself is in excellent condition. It's got the comfort strap at the top with the patent pad. It is adjustable and it's perfect for your just essentials to grab and go. I think I'll put it on a longer setting to try it on real quick. I'm wearing my red bands today. Feeling, I'm feeling red and black today. Okay. 
So it can go probably about down to here or as high as you like it. So very cute. Coach Crossbody. Alrighty, let's do this little beauty. This is a vintage uh, Juicy Couture. If this doesn't sell, I think I'm gonna keep this one because it's been haunting me. I really like it a lot. It is the Daydreamer style, but I love that it's nylon. I really love that it's nylon and leather. Um, it's got bows on each side pocket that zip. So these are not slip pockets. These actually zip around. And I'm loving the interior color. It's that really gorgeous uh, cobalt blue. And you have one on each side, okay? So it's got this really cute gold plate. Hopefully you guys can see that, okay? The adorable gold charm. And then the inside is too much, I love it. It's brand new condition, by the way. This bag is in brand new condition, inside and out. Isn't that pretty? Like I said, if you guys don't want that one, I'm not gonna be mad. I'm not gonna be sad because it's gonna be on my shoulder. <laughs> I'm a tote girl, you guys. I've decided, I love all bags, don't get me wrong. I love all bags, but totes are it for me. They're my favorite. I always go back to totes. Um, I do cross bodies. I do little uh, baguettes and things, but as much as I love all handbags, I do believe that I'm a tote girl. So this is a Juicy Couture Daydreamer, actually. Okay, somebody mentioned they wanted to see this one again, so here it is if you're interested and you want it. This is a cheetah, and it's what they call a carpet bag. So it's got that kind of fuzzy, soft, maybe like a blanket carpet. I'm not exactly sure how you would explain it, but I do believe they call it this one the carpet bag. Um, it does have leather trim with little gold, red leather trim with little gold studs, and I love the detail on the sides. This goes with my outfit today. See why it's so hard for me to sell my stuff? I could literally change bags every day and be happy about it because there's a bag to go with everything in my darn inventory. But it's a large hobo. It's very slouchy, very soft, and extremely lightweight. I love these little D-rings over here. Kind of looks like a horse bit. But doesn't this look cute with what I'm wearing? Sheesh. Oh, goes with the, goes with the shoes. There's my, wait, <laughs> there's my thumbnail, you guys. Here, hold on. Okay, thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> Silly. All right, so anyways, it's very soft and lightweight. Um, very roomy, large. It's got a really pretty satin interior with a couple slip pockets and an open pocket. And this is by CMZ. C-M-Z. And look how slouchy and cute it is. And look at the strap on the top. I love it. Okay, so there you go. CMZ cheetah bag. Oh, this one goes with my outfit today, too. <sighs> Badgley Mishka. Recently thrifted this gorgeous bag in pewter. Look at the pebbling and the design on this leather. It is genuine leather. This is Badgley Mishka right there on the front pocket. They can easily fit your phone, your keys, whatever you like in there. Um, I just gotta show you up close because it's so cool. Love the hardware on this bag. Side zippers, pockets. This would probably be a little bit larger than a Speedy 30 maybe. So it does have your adjustable crossbody strap and you can actually wear this one as a tote, you guys, because the straps are long enough to put it on your shoulder and you still have room beneath the pit and the top of the purse. Extremely soft. Here's the back. And then open it up. It's got a nice zipper pull. 
and look at this big old gigantic air pillow I can fit in there. So it fits a ton. Uh, oh, a zipper pocket and two open pockets. And this one's by Badgley Mishka, okay? Alrighty. Next, I've got this super cute little cobalt blue fossil, crossbody in pebbled leather. Pocket on the back for whatever you like. I always say phone, because we like to have our phones ready to go. Okay, so open the flap, and there is a open pocket and a zipper pocket. Nice light interior. And this is kind of a medium crossbody, I'd say. It does have adjustable straps, strap, crossbody strap. Grab and go, guys. Grab and go. Do you love it? I do. So cute. Just open it up, get your goodies out, nice light interior so you can just grab, see what you, you want. Your phone goes right here and it's a magnetic snap. Beautiful fossil crossbody in cobalt blue leather. Great color, love this color. And then this super adorable black pebbled leather, Kate Spade Hobo. Nice wide strap, super cute chain detail on the strap. Just keep speed there. Tassel pull. And the inside has two open pockets, your zipper pocket, and why is this, what is this for? Hmm. I guess this was in the purse and I didn't even see it. Well. It's a wristlet strap, Safiano wristlet strap, that I will save to go with one of my wallets if I purchase one that I need that needs a wristlet strap. Well, that's cool. Didn't even see that in there. The things you find as a thrift, as a reseller, when you thrift handbags, you guys, I have found some really cool, some really crazy things. Um, it's always a treasure hunt. It's like, it's always a treasure hunt. So this is, can you guys see the size of this? It's actually, a larger size hobo and um, great condition really really good condition it's a pebbled a very small pebble very smushy very soft very lightweight by Kate Spade and my friends that's gonna be it for today so I hope you enjoyed today's video um, I am going to do this makeup advertisement soon. I'm not sponsored in any way. It's just I know a lot of us have aging skin. A lot of us don't want to get the Botox and the whatever you get when your skin starts aging. Um, and especially I have under eye bags that is a genetic problem. The only way to get rid of it is through surgery and I'm... I'm Woo! I saw how they do it. You guys, let's just talk about this a second. What they do to get rid of, it's called a herniated fat pads and it's genetic and it's a total bummer, but you know what, it's me and that's life. But what they do is they go under the eyelid on the inside, make an incision and pull out the fat or whatever that's herniated in there. I'm like, no. Y'all can just look at my bags because I am not going undergoing a surgery like that. Hell <laughs> no. So instead, I choose a makeup that's really pretty. I think I like the makeup a lot. So if you guys are interested, you have aging skin, uh, you have fine lines and wrinkles like me, then we're in this together. And I'll try to help you out and uh, maybe we can get you happy with your skin issues that you may have as well. So, all right, you guys, stay humble, stay kind, and I will see you on tomorrow's video. Bye, everybody.